Here tonight, the two candidates for state superintendent went head to head here in our studio in the final debate of the season. Yep. This debate between Republican Debbie Critchfield and Democrat Terry Gilbert was the sole debate KTVB held ahead of the general election. Idaho superintendent of, Pub superintendent of public instruction oversees a budget of more than two billion dollars. They set education standards and they fight for schools in the legislature. Abby Davis is here to break down key issues the candidates hit on in tonight's debate. Abby. Well, Brian, the candidates covered a lot of ground, and at times it got pretty tense. Critchfield and Gilbert sparred over issues like school vouchers and teacher retention. What do you think is the biggest challenge facing Idaho's public schools, and how would you attack it? We have citizens who want to destroy our public education. I am deeply opposed to doing away with public education in favor of deep-pocketed corporate voucher schools. I think it's providing a relevant and meaningful experience for our students and making sure that our earliest learners are able to read and that by the time they work their way into high school, we're providing something of value. Right off the bat, the talk of vouchers and school choice came into play. Democratic candidate Terry Gilbert pushed Republican candidate Debbie Critchfield on her party's platform. You are in favor of vouchers. You have gone on record as being in favor of vouchers. How are you going to pay for that? I have not gone on record saying that I support vouchers. I have consistently gone on record saying that I support school choice, and I do. And, and I think one of the, the biggest um, efforts that we can have in Idaho is to recognize that, that Idaho is a school choice state already. That's not something that the superintendent, a new elected superintendent, is going to be bring to the state. Panelists asked Critchfield and Gilbert how they would address students falling behind academically because of the pandemic. I'm going to start off with back to basics, focusing on, on literacy and, and how we make sure that our, our kids know how to read. Um, there's been some significant monies put towards that, but we're still not seeing the outcomes that we, that, that we hope to have. We can call upon our retired teachers to come back into the schools, work with our students, and we can ask compassionate adults in the community also to come into the schools to work. I don't think the burden should fall only on our teachers. They're overburdened now. Both candidates know many Idaho educators are leaving the profession or teaching in other higher paying states. And they agree the answer to fixing the staffing shortage goes beyond increasing salaries. Pay is not a long term motivator. I think when we look at the teacher shortage, we've got to consider the overall uh, value and respect of the profession, how we're providing teachers with the tools that they need for the classroom. It's a matter of respect. How are they treated by the legislature, by the general public? But they disagreed on how to address the shortage. Do you support making it easier for people that are interested in education to become educators in a classroom, or does that sacrifice the quality of the education? Is it a tough line, do you think? I am opposed to lowering the standards to get a warm body into the classroom. That's not the way we should go. That's not the way other nations go <clears throat> that have high standards. We, we don't want to limit people. We want to bring everyone in who wants to be a teacher. We want to prepare them, mentor them, and help them be successful. Idaho's 115 public school districts and 61 public charter schools educate more than 323,000 Idaho children. Now you just saw a small portion of the debate. Critchfield and Gilbert also debated critical race theory and book banning. So some more controversial topics there. Now we have a f the link. Make sure to go watch the full debate on YouTube and our website, ktvb.com. Yeah, and with that special session that we just saw with the Idaho legislature, uh, a lot more money going to public schools. And so they talked about what their priorities yeah. would be, what they would invest in first right. with that money. So really interesting feedback there. Abby Davis, thank you.